What does the this keyword mean in JavaScript? To start the process of understanding what this means in JavaScript, let's just run through a number of experiments. So the first experiment I'm going to run is just to print out the value of this outside of any function in what I call the file scope or the global scope. Let's bring up the console and then let's bring up the debugger area so I can click the run snippet button. So I'm now going to run it. And then if you see at the bottom, when we print console.log this in the global scope, what gets printed out is the window object. So when using this outside of the context of anything, of any function, it, it actually points to the global window object. So if that's, tr that's true, let's just run a couple more experiments. So if that's true, then by setting the property asim on this is actually setting the property asim on the global window object. So now if I was to type, so let me run a couple here. So if I then do window asim and then do asim. So what do you expect to actually get printed out in this scenario? Clear console and let me just hit run. So you can see one, one, one. The first console log is just going to print one because I've said this asim is equal to one. The second one is going to print one as well because in this context, this is equal to the window object. And then finally, because asim is a variable, a property on the global window object, by just we can just refer to it by asim in the global scope and it'll just print out one name. Right, so that's what happens when we refer to this outside of any function. What happens when we refer to this inside a function? To do that, let me create a function. I'm going to call it check this. And again, let me copy it from the top. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the value of this as it exists inside a function. And then I'm going to call that function. Actually, let me comment out these other ones at the top. So the console is pretty clean. Let me run that. And there you can see again, when called from within a function, this actually points to the global object again. So, so far, if we were just trying to figure out what this, what the this keyword meant, just by experimenting with JavaScript, we might be coming to the conclusion that this always points to the global object. But actually, that's not the case. Let me show you with another example. Just let me comment this one out. And now I'm going to create an object literal called asim. And I'm going to give it another property, a property of check this. And I'm going to make that a function. And I'm just going to make that function just, just the same as before. It's going to print out the this variable. And then we obviously need to call that function. So we would call it with asim.check this. So now let me clear the console and run that. And there from the console, you can see when this is printed out in this new method, in this new context, it isn't pointing to the global object. And if we expand that out, you can see we're actually pointing to an object which has a check this function. And really what's happening, is, and really what's happening is that in this context, this, the keyword this, is pointing to the object asim. So to prove this, let me just console log asim here again, and then let me run that. And with that, you can see that actually those, both those objects are the same. So all I'm doing here is I'm just trying to show you and prove to you that the this keyword here in this line in line 16 is actually pointing to the asim object. So if we were continuing to try and figure out what this meant just by experimenting with JavaScript, at this point, we might conclude that this points to the object the function is declared on. But actually, let me show you another little bit of code. 
So I'm now assigning a variable of signing a variable of func that's going to point to the check this function as it exists on the object asim. And then with JavaScript, I can just call that function. Let me clear the console and then let me run the snippet again. And here you can see the function when we call the check this function via a variable called func. Now this points to the global object. So the reason I'm trying to go through and explain to you what this keyword means by doing a number of examples is just to show you that actually it can be a bit confusing and it's actually very hard to figure out exactly what the, this keyword means just by experimenting and, and looking at your code. So I've seen a number of JavaScript developers get to quite late in their careers without really having a great understanding of this. But right now I'm going to tell you what the this keyword means. So it's determined by the calling context. Okay, it's determined by the way in which a function is called. If we call the check this function with asim as the caller object, then this inside this function is going to be asim. And if it doesn't have a calling context like the func method here, then by default, JavaScript sets this to be the global window object. So what might be some issues with how the this keyword changes depending on how a function is called? Now, the one big issue is, actually, let me show you an example. So let's say that in this object, check this, we actually have another function called check other. And inside here, we console log this again. Actually, let me, let me move this to the top there. At the bottom, I'm going to check other. Okay. So now when I call asim check this, it's going to call this function. It's going to print the this keyword. And then it's going to call another function called check other, which is going to print the this keyword again. Now, because we're inside this check this function, what will the this keyword mean when printed here? And what will it contain when printed from the check other function? Well, let's find out. Let's call this. Okay, so let's scroll up here so you can see when check this is called here, the first this variable, that's line 16, is actually pointing to the asim object itself. So this, at this point on line 16, actually points to the asim object. So the calling context for the check this function. Calling context for the check this function. However, on line 19, when we print out this again, from a nested function called check other, it's again the window object, the global object. That's because when we call check other from within here, there isn't a calling context. So therefore, the this keyword from this nested function is just the window object. And this catches a lot of people out because a lot of people expect if they see this to be asim at the top of the function here, they would expect this inside a nested function here to still equal asim. Now, specifically what happens is, is usually something like this. So perhaps you would type some code where this moves equal to one, and then you would expect so you would expect on line 25, we would, and therefore on line 25, you would expect this to print out the number one. But what actually happens, as you can see on line 25, it prints out undefined. And that's because when we try to set mu to one in this function here, this actually set it on the global window object because at this moment, on line 19, at this moment, this, keyword is pointing to the window object. At this moment here, on line 25, the this keyword is pointing to the asim object. So in fact, if we were at this point, then going to print out window.mu, that would actually print out one. That's because on line 19, we're actually setting mu on the window object. So what can we do to help solve this problem? How can we make this more 
clearer for the developer, for the developer. But well, one thing we can do is actually, actually to use the use strict keywords. If I was just to put that in the start of this function, and then if I was to run the snippet again, you can see now we get an error at the bottom. So for what line? For this line. Now to make this clearer, let me just move that console above. Okay, so let me run that again. So you can see the line above, line 20, let me show you that again, line 20, it's saying it's undefined. So it's saying this in the function check other is undefined, whereas previously without use strict, that was the window object. And that's what use strict does. If you go into use strict mode, it stops the default this object being the global object because most of the time that's not the behavior that we want that's actually the behavior that causes most of these problems okay so this is a good way of stopping the this keyword from being the global object and therefore stopping us from potentially making a mistake but how do we actually solve this problem i'm going to show a couple of other methods in future lectures but for this specific scenario the solution that most people use is actually to stabilize the this keyword into another variable at the top of your function. So let me show you. So let me actually take out use strict. And usually people, personally, I use the keyword self. And I, I, I assign this to self. And then anywhere else in my function, instead of referring to this, I refer to self. So what you're saying here is, on line 16, I know what this is. This is what I want it to be. I want it to be the asim object. I'm going to assign that to self, and then I'm not going to worry for the rest of my, my function whether this points to my asim object or whether it points to undefined or whether it points to a global object because I'm not going to refer to this anymore. I'm only going to refer to self. And that's one thing that people do. That's actually the most popular and common thing that people do. Some people use self. Some people use VM for view model. Some people use that. It really doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you just assign it to whatever variable that you want, and you continue to use that variable instead of this for the rest of your function. So I really like this question. I like this question because as a developer, if you've only learned JavaScript through trial and error, you might not have a great understanding of what this means. In fact, you might have the wrong understanding of what this means. I may not hire somebody for having a good answer to this question, but I probably wouldn't continue the interview if you gave me a poor answer to this question. And having a good understanding of the this keyword, this keyword plays onto some of the other questions I'm going to ask and the other topics I'm going to explain on object orientation in JavaScript.